What's going on guys? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and I'm back from CES, which was quite a disaster. Um, nothing went as planned. I wasn't able to get the type of videos that I wanted. I didn't meet the people that I wanted. It was just a disaster and the products that were shown off there were quite disappointing. But I'm back and I'm going to do a couple more uh, jailbreak related videos. That's what you guys seem to like, so that's what I'll be bringing you. Now I found a cool mod, or actually somebody emailed it to me earlier this morning. Uh, it's called Fake Clock Up. And basically what it lets you do is it lets you speed up the animations of iOS. When I change the rotation of my iPad, you can see that the animation is extremely slow. And what Fake Clock Up does is it lets you speed up or slow down all of the animations for iOS. So when I unlock my iPad, you're going to see it unlock very slowly. And of course you could open up applications such as the iPod player and here you see the app coming in and it is opened. Double tapping the home button will bring up the multitasking dock and we could switch to another app. Now it doesn't work perfectly, there's some times where it'll just cut out of the animation and go directly into the app. And since we're in settings, let's take a look at the settings that we have. Here's fake clock up. And it lets you change all of your animation speeds. You can see that this one's going slow as well. You have a whole bunch of different speed choices here. You can just play around with them and find something that you like. Let me go through another example real quick. You can see that the application really goes away slowly. Let's go over to Spotlight and you can see that the keyboard is extremely slow when coming up. You could also make it go faster, of course. And of course we have Folder Enhancer. There's my folder. And I'm going to put the iPad out of, the, out of the way and show you what it's like on an iPhone. And on the iPad, I showed you what it happens when it's, uh, when it's slowed down 10 times slower. And I'm going to show you what it's like once it's 2.5 times faster. So I'm going to try and unlock my phone here. And there you go. You can see how fast it unlocked. You can see how fast the folders are when they animate. Let's go ahead and switch to an app. Let's switch over to Safari. You can see how fast that animation was. And that one. Let's go to a website. You can see how fast the uh, spinner in the corner was spinning. So that's pretty crazy. Um, let's go ahead and go into settings. You can see how fast that animation was. Let's go to the settings for clock up. And you can just see how fast these setting or the, uh, the animations really are. And whenever you change a setting, you have to respring for the setting to take effect. You can easily do that with SB settings. And that's basically a quick look at fake clock up. I'll put a direct link to the deb file in the description down below. All you have to do is download it to your device. And if you have iFile, you could just use iFile to install it. Or you could put it into the auto install folder and the next time you open Cydia or restart your uh, device, it will automatically install the, the, uh, the hack. So that was just a quick look at Fake Clock Up. It's really cool. It's completely free. I think it's made by a Japanese developer, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching this video. You can leave any of your comments, questions, or suggestions down below in the comments area. But that's it. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you guys.